The video that is playing on the AV monitor is coming from my camcorder. I simply took the HDMI out of the camcorder and connected it to the AV monitor. A lot of you have done this before. I'm going to let the video play just a little bit longer. I think it has played long enough for the purpose of this video. I will now talk about the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. As you can tell, there's not much to it. There's a Thunderbolt 3 connector at the one end, and at the other end, there's an SDI output as well as an HDMI output. As you folks can tell, I'm using the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G to play back the Premiere Pro sequence on the AV monitor. You can probably tell that the video looks exactly the same as when I took the HDMI output of my camcorder and connected it to the AV monitor. That is what you'd expect when you're using third-party hardware. In order to make use of third-party hardware with Adobe Premiere Pro, you simply go to the menu bar, you select Edit, you scroll down to Preferences, and then you'll scroll over to Playback. You can output to your second computer monitor as well as third-party hardware simultaneously. You can choose the audio playback device. If you mouse click on the word Setup, here is where you will see a list of video playback devices that Premiere Pro can tap into. You want to make sure you have the right color gamut for your particular piece of hardware. Having said that, you will want to make sure the sequence is set up for the right color gamut as well. I am now using Avid's Media Composer with the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. You can tell the colors match what was coming out of the camcorder as well as what was being played back when using Premiere Pro in the Ultra Studio Monitor 3G. In order to use the Blackmagic Design products, you do have to download the drivers from their website. The drivers install really super easy on Mac and PC. You select Support, then you select Capture and Playback. Nine times out of ten, you're going to want to get the newest driver, which is Desktop Video. If the latest version of desktop video seems buggy, you can go back several months or even go back several years. If you've got an older operating system or you're using an older video editing software program, Blackmagic Design makes it super easy to get the appropriate driver.